Hey, it's Junkman from VintageRock.com. Sure yes, it is. And uh, <laughs> we're at NAMM 2000. And 18, and I'm with a true legend to my left over here. I, you know what? You definitely have legendary status. Been on, you've heard him on thousands of records. You've seen him on hundreds of tours with all your favorite artists. I have uh, bassist Lee Sklar. How are you? I am so happy to be here. I can't tell you. I love coming to Nam. I know. How many? How many is this for you now? You know, I don't even know. But yeah. to, for me, this is the opportunity to see friends that I never normally get to see or who are just texts and emails and everybody's here in the flesh. So yep. it's cool. And, exactly. I, and, I, and I get some... Ooh, some rolled some gold perks. tiny it's twists. The perks. <laughs> <laughs> they feed them well, in other words. Oh, absolutely, so. absolutely. Man, such, a, such a, a plethora of work that you've done. You've just got... With everybody, all these famous people, you've seen them with James Taylor for years. You've seen them with other people. You're on the road with Phil Collins now. Yeah, we just finished um, at the end of last year, um, latter part of last year. We did some gigs in Europe just to feel things out because he hasn't hadn't worked in ten years. He was retired. Yeah, he had, he had, retired. He had a back problem. Yeah, and and he decided he missed it and he wanted to come back. And then we did a really pretty extensive UK tour. And now on the 12th of February, we head to South America and start South America, Mexico, and Puerto Rico. Wow. And, uh, and it's great. It's great. And the show's unbelievable. His, his, his 16 year old son's playing our, he's our drummer now. Wow. And killing it. Nicholas Collins is a force to be reckoned with. That's terrific. Yeah. So it's all good, you know, and studio work. And then I work with a girl named Judith Owen, who's married to Harry Shearer. Spinal Tap and yes, The Simpsons, yeah. and Judith is an amazing, amazing singer-songwriter, pianist, and uh, we'll be out, and then Danny Korchmar, Cooch, yeah. um, just did a solo album, and I think we're going to Japan and gigging that in uh, June, so. Well, you've worked with him on so many records, oh, going God. back to Linda Ronstadt and all oh, the yeah. stuff that she Cooch did. and I go back yeah. to the very beginnings of our, our careers. That know. was the whole L.A., uh, uh, this, the the section is what yeah it was, yeah know? actually and, and it's, I'm really this is a special day because uh, the tech awards here are giving us the Hall of Fame award tonight yeah. yep, yep. and then we're going to play with Jackson Brown because right. he's getting the Les Paul award and our friends in the band Venice will be there yeah too, right? I know I'm so the, it's going to be great it's a great day it's a great evening you know this is this is one of those magical places that you know yep. everybody comes together and there's no BS everybody's like in it because they love music yeah. and uh, it's pretty special no I meant many egos here <laughs> well they're supposed to check them at the door but they you know what it's half the fun of seeing them you know? no i know well they're all still, still at the hilton <laughs> well they always talked about you being the original hipster beard guy you know so. well you know i'm just too lazy to shave <laughs> <laughs> let's talk gear um what are you playing these days and who are you here to see uh in terms of gear guys um th there's two bass companies that i deal with um and they're very completely different instruments. Um, I work with Dingwall for my five string, mm -hmm. and they're, they're out of Saskatoon, Canada. And I actually am just going upstairs to pick up a new one that they just built me. And then I play a semi-acoustic four string, um, and that's with Warwick, and we did a signature model for them, and they're out of Germany. And uh, I love both those bases. They're my go-to bases. Um, they're the two bases I have on Phil Collins' tour. And yeah, I was going to ask about that. You do a lot of the acoustic bass on that yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and then for amplifiers, I'm with a company called Euphonic Audio out of New Jersey. And what do you like about them? I've been with those guys for like 18 years now. Mm -hmm. And it just, I just love the sound of the gear. Mm -hmm. um, their amps really, they don't saturate. So like when I'm playing, it's it's tight but it's rich and stuff. There's just something about them. The first time I played one, I was really happy with it, and the, they've they've got some of those super lightweight rigs, you know, like two pound head, and yeah. you know I can I can put most of my bass rig in a suitcase, <laughs> which is really great. And the road crew is really happy too. Oh, well, I'm the road crew. <laughs> on, like on Judas tour, we're stripped down to yeah. bare minimum, and I do the whole tour with a gig bag with a single single ten an amp head and a gig bag with a bass. That's terrific. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's fantastic. You know, you've played with so many legends, so many of our heroes and things like that. Is there anybody living that you really would love to be able to work with someday that just hasn't happened? Um, you know, like I'm a huge fan of Winwood. I never right. got a chance to play with Winwood. Right. I'd love to play with Steve. I could hear you um, doing the bass part on Glad. I could hear oh, that. God, it'd be, it would be great. And, and I've never... I. I did a couple of like little weird things. 
that Elton was involved in, but I never really got to play with Elton. You're and, running out of time on that one. Well, no, I mean, I'm so happy, you know, yeah. Bissonette's out doing that, and yeah. he kills it on that, yeah. so I'm not, I'm not looking for anybody's gigs. There's just a few people I haven't had a chance with, but the other day I was phone rang and Bill Medley called me from Righteous Brothers and Bill and I have become good friends and I still sit and pinch myself and go, that's Bill Medley on And he's out on the road with a new partner too. Yeah, 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 I'm glad that that happened because he was still doing it but I think with recorded Bobby Hatfield. Right. And you can go so far with that but at a certain point the people want to hear the songs right. more so than worrying about if it's that guy because there's so many groups out there that have lost original members right. and I think it's and like with Phil I think he was concerned about there's a certain frailty to him now that that wasn't there when he was young and I think he probably was concerned that people would you know not think that was okay man the minute he walks on stage they go ape shit and they would just want to hear all these songs and we're doing Genesis songs and yeah. Phil songs so it's really the audience wants to live those songs and they're not as concerned i mean if, if there was nobody and it was like like a tribute band mm -hmm. up there doing like some like like a band called sue studio or something right. like that doing phil that'd be slightly different but still you look at the audience and they're having a great time because a lot of tribute bands are as strong if not better than the bands they're tributing at this Absolutely. point so it's all good. Plus, it's been so long since since people have seen them live anyway. Yeah, so it's it's all good. We're having a great time. It's terrific. I mean, I'm a happy camper. I can't, and I've got pet pretzels. <laughs> I mean, they didn't cost anything. A musician and free food is one of the greatest combinations in the world. Spoken like a true pro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate you talking oh, with us here, Lee. And okay. again, enjoy the rest of Nan, the Tech Awards tonight. You'll be seeing him with uh, with the, with the guys. And uh, yeah, again, it's been a fun day. It is had by all. Happy Nam. Okay, man, take care. <laughs> Junkmanvintagerock.com again at Nam uh, 2018 with the great Lee Sklar. Take care, guys.